But Hebrews 12 says this, verse 26, At that time his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. The words once more indicate the removing of what can be shaken. That is created things so that what cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, so this gives us the prescription of what we do in the church in times of shaking. This tells us what to do. Like, Christians should be the least surprised people on earth right now. I mean, it, it kind of blows my mind. I'm like, guys, <laughs> it's like an open book quiz and we got the answers. Like, we're not waiting for the media or a political pundit or whatever to tell us how to respond. We know how to respond, right? And so I love this because it says, listen, everything's going to be shaken. But it's so powerful for us to respond biblically in this season by saying, you know what? We don't belong to that kingdom. We belong to a kingdom that cannot be shaken and we're gonna worship through it all. We're gonna worship through it all. We're gonna sing in the dark of night. <laughs> 